Hey guys, I'm Jose Cambrell, and today on YC on the Streets, we're going to be going around talking to people, asking them what their favorite type of art is, and what inspires them to make art. Okay, so today we're here with... Andrew. Alright, so Andrew, I have a question about art I wanted to ask you. Okay, so what purpose do the arts serve in your community? Um, art's a way for people to process uh, their experiences, their traumas, their joys. Um, I guess that's what I would say is how people can translate uh, their emotions onto and get through them or exalt them or stuff like that. I think they're an inspiration for everybody about what the world is. You know, they reflect the goodness in the world or even when it's not the beauty of the world, they, re they make you think. They make you think and reflect. Well, for me personally, it makes me happy. I just like to see what people are thinking, feeling, how they put something out there. What inspires you? Um, oh, that's interesting in terms of art. Um, well, I'm an art conservator. I'm head of the conservation department at the Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum down the street. Ooh, and nice. I work on a lot of three-dimensional works of art and design. And I really love working on works of art made out of glass and ceramics. That's my specialty in terms of treatment and study. Wow, like real glass? Yeah, so things that were either hand blown or cast, and uh, yeah, anything from ancient to contemporary, and I um, have a depth of knowledge in 18th century glass technology in the U.S. So many things inspire me. At, at the moment, really, it is nature. It, it, it is the beauty of nature. It is the sky, the clouds, the green of the trees. In Central Park, where I walk my dog every day, it's always different. Every morning is different. There's a breeze, and also I think it brings it makes you realize that all people, if they're seeing the same thing that you are seeing, find a common denominator, that we could have a peaceful world instead of the crazy world that we do have. <laughs> because everybody is seeing the same things. What helps you get this inspiration? Like, what helps you get creative? Yes. If there's a difficult situation and it's hard to talk to people or relate to people, yeah, I guess I have to be creative in how I relate to them in that way, in a nursing way. Um, going to galleries actually seeing as much art as I can in galleries all over the world um, that makes me feel creative and it makes me want to study art which I am doing at the moment. Oh really you've been to different galleries like around the world? What's that been like? Um, it's been fantastic. I live in London at the moment which has some of the best galleries in the world but we've come to New York for a visit and we've, we're about to go to one of the best galleries in the world, the Guggenheim. Um, and we went to the Museum of Modern Art yesterday and that's one of the things I love about New York City, the galleries. Taking time to respond to other artworks generally. So making sure you actually take time to absorb it and reflect on it. That's normally when the creativity kind of sparks. So what kind of art do you create? Um, so I work in literature, so poetry and non-fiction is kind of my thing. I think it's very important. I think there's a way to be creative in everything you do, even if you don't create art. It, it, the way you approach problem solving can involve a lot of creativity, even if it's just like fixing a spreadsheet in Excel. I mean, I think that there's a lot of ways to tap into that um, that can uh, bring about unusual solutions to more standard problems. Do you think that kids are getting creative enough or maybe when you were in school do you think you did enough um, related to art or around art? I know art is sort of mandatory up until our year 8 which is like 14, 15 or something like that and then you can choose different electives so people can sort of branch off um, but I think it's good that it's mandatory like I can remember kids at you know, hated it. They didn't know how to paint or anything, but it's good for, I think, the, the development of children to have that uh, access to it and, um, yeah, encouragement. Um, I would say they're probably not getting enough. Uh, I think too much art is through the lens of learning about art instead of uh, teaching people techniques to uh, create their own art um, and get their own ideas out there. How would you define the word artist? I think anybody who pushes our boundaries, who creates works that allow us to expand the way we see the world, um, it doesn't have to be beautiful as long as it makes us think and consider and sort of expand our mindset. That's really, really what I would say. So that was it for today's Weiss on the Streets. I'm Jose Cambrellan and we'll see you next time.